Hi, my dear Rostra family. So today we are going to be talking about Hygieia because Hygieia enters the sign of Aries. And this is what I picked as the aspect of the week. I thought I found some really interesting correlation between the lunar eclipse and Hygieia. And so I'm going to reveal that for you. And that's why I picked this as the aspect of the week. So I hope you will enjoy it. Now I've got two very cool courses coming up in case you are interested. One of them is going to be all about the 12th house and I will be showing you how it works, how to work with your 12th house, the 12th house sign on the cusp, the ruler, the planet in the, uh, in the 12th house so you can become your own master of the 12th house. And the other one is all about Lilith. That's going to be free lessons. And I'm going to teach you how to use Lilith from a psychological perspective. And we're going to be looking at a little bit more from the lenses of the relationship, actually. So if you are interested, check these courses out. And you can do that on my website, astrovictor.com. Many people ask me recently whether I'm a tropical astrologer or uh, I use Vedic and I use tropical solely. So hopefully that helps a lot of people to understand um, where I'm coming from with certain things. And the other question I get asked quite a lot recently is about what house system I use. So I tend to be using whole sign house system, but whatever predictions people are making, they are always basing that on whole sign house system for you anyway. Um, so these are um, just, I wanted to clear that out for people. So let's get going with Hygieia in the sign of uh, Aries. Okay. First of all, I would like to mention that I'm not a medical practitioner. So the information I'm going to be giving you is only for educational purposes. Hygieia is the fifth largest asteroid and its astrological number is number 10 if you want to look up where yours is. And you can do that just going on astro.com, type in your birth information, and then you scroll down a little bit and then you will find additional boxes and you're going to have to put down number 10 there. Hygieia was discovered in 1849 and she is the personification of health, cleanliness and sanitization. Now, she was the daughter of Aclepius. I want to talk a little bit about that. Because um, the father was Aclepius, the god of medicine, and her uh, mother was Epione, and they had eight children, and one of them was Hygieia. And Epione was about how we soothe pain within our body. Now, all children were mortal beings, and all were related to healing. Uh, Asclepius had five daughters and three sons. All the daughters were somehow connected to prevention herbs or the process of the healing itself. And the boys were doctors and they were doing surgeries and they were dealing with physical illnesses while the daughter were, were a little bit dealing with the internal part of things as well. So that's the story I kind of just wanted to mention there. Maybe we're going to talk a little bit more about uh, mythology in a little while. But I just want to put some details out for you there. So Hygieia is not just about health, but it's about prevention as well. The practice we do on a daily basis, such as you brush your teeth, you clean your kitchen, you wash your hands, you wear a face mask and so forth, or you scrub the toilets. Why do we do that? Because we want to prevent from bacteria growing and all these type of things. Now, Hygieia has got a 5.5 year of orbit. Oh, I forgot to give you the dates, I guess. So Hygieia is actually entering the sign of, uh, uh, the sign of uh, Aries. I'm just gonna give you very quickly when it is happening. Just give me two seconds. It's on the 28th of March. So just three days after the, the upcoming lunar eclipse. And uh, so the orbital period of Hygieia is about 5.5 years. So it means that she spends a, a good four to six months in one sign. 
Just in case you are interested in the dates, then Hygieia will be leaving the sign of Aries on the 7th of July. Now, so going back to the basics. So she has been a 5.5 years of um, orbit. It was discovered in 1849 um, in Italy, if I remember well. And she is all about a future forward thinking. Why is that? Because I clean and brush the toilets or scrub the toilets so that we prevent something bad uh, to happen, right? So there is that future forwardness to it. Now, she is connected to sanity as well. So what type of preventing actions we take or we should take to have a mental, emotional or spiritual balance as well in our life? And the, the symbol of Hygieia is quite interesting because we have the two snakes wrapped around the rod, which is the staff of Hermes, by the way. And there is a star above the snakes. I mean, there are two glimpses actually, but if we start thinking about the snake itself, which represents regeneration, the, 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 the antidote, is actually within the snake as well, which can kill you. And you've got a certain amount of time or window there to kind of get that antidote or unfortunately be passed away. And if you, even if you think about how the snake moves, uh, it kind of fears the vibration of the earth right on the ground. And that's how they kind of, you know, kind of navigate themselves. So this is something to do with using all the tools, what we've got around us to prevent ourselves from getting sick or to be mentally and emotionally stable as well. Now, when you are looking at the discovery chart of hers, so in, in case you want to look at it, so she was discovered in 1948, just to give you the uh, date one more time, uh, 12th of April in Naples. Now, we don't know the exact time when it happened, so you can only be looking at the constellation what was going on but what you are going to be seeing there that there is a very strong stellium and that's between saturn mercury sun uranus and pluto and on the day of the discovery of hygieia saturn is actually sitting on one degree of uh, aries and hygieia is sitting on six degree of libra now, the reason why I find it very interesting is because the lunar eclipse is taking place on five degree of Libra. So it conjuncts Hygieia's discovery chart. And I find it very, very interesting, to be honest. And what I find important about this is, I mean, first of all, that a uh, six degree of Libra is a Sagittarius towards. So what I find here is that we need to start preparing to preserve our vitality and our physical strength because it's going to be needed in the future. This could, unfortunately, this lunar eclipse might be able to highlight something to do with a medical condition that is about to be happening. Uh, Hygieia is in the sign of Libra in the discovery chart. Now, why am I talking about the discovery chart? Because when you look at the discovery chart, then it's a little bit easier for you to kind of know the meaning of that planetary energy. So Hygieia is in Libra, which is a, a representation of the need to balance something out in our life. And it is, we've got that Aries stellium going on, which is in the head, in the body. So we need to find the balance between our head and the body as well, or uh, finding a balance between our hormones in our body. And why am I finding this extremely important is because we've got a very strong stellium going on in Aries as well currently. And then Hygieia just joins that club there. And then we've got the lunar eclipse happening on five degree of Libra. So this is telling us that we need to be looking at some of the, um, some of the 
balance when it comes to our individuality and other people. This is probably an invitation to hear certain type of relationships with ourselves, but with others as well at the same time. This is telling us that we all need the strength, probably, to be prepared, because this is about preparation, to be prepared what is about to come into our life. So, you know, the other thing which I would like to mention about Hygieia is obviously, again, that two snakes wrapped around, you know, the Hermes rod, which also indicates something to do with balance. And maybe this balance is somehow the replica of the Virgo and Pisces axis, which is the mental and the physical aspect of the health. So I feel like this hygiene in the sign of air is now telling us that we need all these type of strength because something is going to go down in the world that is connected to, you know, like uh, can cause emotional turmoil in our lives. And you know what, when we look at the political situations currently, on the March of 15th, uh, Hungary was actually making a speech that, oh, we should all attack, uh, uh, you know, the EU. Even we are part of the EU because they are tired of being told what to do. And then France is threatening uh, Russia that they would want to go into war and... I mean, it looks like people kind of went crazy. And uh, I mean, we've got a strong Aries a stellium coming up. And I'm going to make a separate video about that shortly for you. But we're going to have the Saturn and Mars conjunction coming up as well very shortly. And I'm going to share a lot of good information about the Saturn-Mars cycle. So just be prepared with that. Now, I looked at what happened when Hygieia was discovered. Um, oh, sorry, one other thing I want to uh, tell you here is that I think what it represents is, with Hygieia in the sign of Aries, that if we want to heal, sometimes we need to sort out our own, our own head too. And that could be an indication what this wants to do. So obviously looking at how we initiate things, maybe it's we are whiny, maybe we are you know, um, just crying over the spilled milk all the time. So this is an invitation to sort out your own head too. You need to make peace. If I want to connect it with that lunar eclipse, we need to make peace with something. Maybe we need to let go of something that has not been working for us and we need to be courageous to start fresh. Now, I looked at what happened in 1849 when Hygieia got discovered. And you know what? The first female doctor graduated in USA. Female schools uh, were created uh, and uh, anesthesiology started to be used more widely. So um, this is one of the ways how astrologers figure out what, you know, what is about to happen when they discover a new planetary body. So what does Hygieia shows in your chart? It shows you what is healthy for you. So that's one meaning of that. Now, because it is going into the sign of Aries, what you need to be looking at where the Aries cusp is in your chart, and you're gonna have to do some healing around that. And what could be good for you in the sign of Aries is, as I said, when you take care of your own hands, when you do anything that is making you worried, or, um, and, and then of course, it could be a representation of having that competitive spirit, awakening the competitive spirit within you. Hygieia represents nutrition as well. So basically what it tells you is that what you feed the body and the mind with is going to be affecting your physical health. This is um, uh, telling you what to do um, in order for you to remain healthy. She represents herbalism, healers, the detoxification of the body. So in the sign of Aries, it would be an, an invitation to detoxify yourself from any type of anger and frustration. Maybe going back to the roots of it and then looking at what is that 
holding you back? What is it that makes you angry and frustrated all the time? Do you let the anger out of your body or you need to be going and punching certain type of bags and so on? Uh, Hygiene represents homeopathy. And but also it tells us that we need to go very deep if we want to heal. And then it represents sanitization as well. So sometimes you just need to be sanitizing our circumstances and maybe cutting out areas, certain type, type of people as well from our life who act like a poison. So hygiene is going to be connected to six house matters, of course. And then when you start thinking about what the sixth house is, it's routine, it's prevention, it's hygiene, it's healthy and unhealthy attachments. And when the sixth house doesn't work well in our chart, then we tend to be going into the 12th house, which is the house of hospitals and sanctuaries and spiritual practices and all those type of things, because we are not using our sixth house. Remember that the houses are always about polarities. So just a little bit of a side note there. So to give you my own experience, high GA is, for example, a one degree of Scorpio in my chart, conjuncting Saturn. So this could be, for example, about prevention of bones and teeth and spine and back issues, for example. And then when I had the South uh, node on it, uh, you know, I stopped caring for a second. And uh, I was running way too much and then my knees could not handle it. And it got to the point where anytime when I wanted to bend down, my knee just kind of cracked and then it hurt and I was limping for a little bit, a little bit. Now, this was during uh, one of my sport retreats. So when I start thinking about it, you know, Saturn, which is all about effort, IGA is all about health and prevention. So I was putting a lot of effort into my health. It happened, actually, it happens in my ninth house, which can represent a sport as well, actually, in our chart. And Pluto was squaring Hygieia at the same time. So that was calling me to act on my health of mind as well. Pluto makes us obsessed, for example. Um, so Hygieia, whatever it touches in your chart, it kind of wants to cleanse it somehow. So maybe when I needed to be seeing the barriers in life with that Saturn, because Saturn represents barriers and limitations and to a certain extent, extent self-destructive behaviors as well. So if you have got any conjunction to your hygiene, that needs to be sanitized, purified, cleansed. So that's exactly what hygiene does in your transit chart as well. It is trying to cleanse your Aries cusp in your chart. And of course, it's going to be cleansing in the next four months, those planets as well that are connected to it. So if Hygieia is in a earth sign, for example, that it always wants to purify your physical body, watch out for food intake, and that's going to talk to you about nutrition quite a lot. If it's air sign, mind and intellect. If it's water, spirit and karma. If it's fire, the soul and the vitality. So hygiene is about the, stating, the state of being on all four levels. How receptive are you to illnesses? How do you establish your health style? Um, and that's what you might want to be focusing on a little bit. Okay, so that's the background of hygiene here. So let's talk about this a little bit more. I mean, Hygieia did get a lot of attention, I think, recently. And as I said, it is connected to health and um, healing. When it happens in the sign of Aries, which is about leadership, new beginnings, courage. So it's asking you to look at whether you are the leader of your own life, whether you are ready to start fresh when you are courageous, when you take action to make your life better. You're going to have to ask those questions. But also it could talk to you about how to prevent your leadership, how to prevent uh, your leadership position, and how to prevent your own strength as well in this world. 
Uh, I also would say that um, hygiene is something to do with not only health and healing, but here in this particular constellation, it wants to motivate you to take action and to be in charge of your own life. Combining this with this um, Libra lunation, which is all about enough to try to heal others, enough to please others. It's time to start acting according to your own moral codes. It's time to make positive changes in your life. This is the biggest message, I think, of this year anyway. This is an indication that you are meant to be impacting somehow when it comes to your approach to your physical and emotional health. So this is inviting you to do a bit of a health, uh, wellness, basically. Now, obviously, it's a fire sign. So connects with energy, action, and impulsiveness. Negatively, it's about your anger and frustration. So how to improve all those topics? Uh, in your life. This is inviting you to do some fitness, some sports, some exercise. This is about your motivation level. This is actually prompting you to get excited about, I don't know, being in a competition, for example, or just to take a step forward in your life as well. So, so much to do with closing something down in our life. Now, as I said, Hygieia was the daughter of Aclepius, the god of medicine. And uh, she was always depicted like a young woman holding a serpent. And um, uh, she also represented the, uh, like the healing art. So she was kind of like a mortal person who was maintaining not only the health of the human body, or the mortals, but the gods as well at the same time. So I want you to think about how to be courageous, how to be determined when it comes to your goals and how to improve your lifestyle. This is maybe an invitation. I mean, Mars is in the sign of Pisces. So I feel like it is bringing in the holistic approach into the picture as well. That you cannot just heal physically, but you have to be healing emotionally as well, and vice versa. So this is a, this is an, like a Pisces and Virgo axis, right? So one is very, I mean, earth science, it's more grounded and the other one is more spiritual. So we need to find the, the, the um, we need to find the balance here, basically, that would be the, idea. Look at your own energy level. Look at your own competitive spirit. Channel that anger and frustration into something, something proactive, for example. It is telling you to push yourself a little bit, to get out of your comfort zone. But how much do I push myself? Because it can lead to injuries and burnout as well. This is inviting you to care to care about yourself. Yes, sometimes it comes with impatience because, you know, a pro like I'm going to give you an example here. You know, let's say I want to lose 10 kilos in a month and um, you're going to have to be very restricted in a way to be able to accomplish that. So learn patience here because a slow progress sometimes lasts longer and you benefit with that. But with Pygia telling you that you have to incorporate that with mindfulness as well at the same time. I would also say that, you know, on a personal level, this is about, as I said, looking at where the Aries cusp is in your chart and that needs to go through a purification, the healing process in the next uh, four months. Maybe you need to be a little bit more confident about that house cup. But maybe you need to be more assertive about that. Or you might want to be taking risks and try new things out. And 
Not every single of those new things going to become a success, but one of them might be bringing you a breakthrough, which is going to lift your spirit up. And then all of a sudden you're going to feel better. So a balance between pushing things, but not to push, uh, not to push too hard as well, because obviously the harder you push and the bigger you fall, the pain is going to be bigger as well at the same time. Now on the, on the collective level, you know, this could be a public health alert that might be coming up. May hopefully what we are seeing with this constellation is that governments and health organizations are going to be promoting a healthier lifestyle a little bit more, such as trying to encourage you, I don't know, with lowering the prices of the gym, you know, it's not going to happen. But just an example, right? Uh, to get you to the gym. Maybe they're going to talk about obesity a lot more. Maybe they are going to be talking about sexual health a lot more as well, because Aries is connected to those. And uh, maybe they are going to be giving you a guideline of how to prevent cert or how to detect certain type of health issues. So unfortunately, this could talk about not necessarily a pandemic, but some type of breakout that might be happening, unfortunately, in the next uh, four months. And then if it happened, then it would be related to rashes and probably some inflammation or fever related type of things as well. So this IG is telling you to uh, plan something, to take things into account in your Aries cusp, in your chart, and then to take action on it so for example it happens in my second house so building healthier habits when it comes to food building healthier habits when it comes to finances as well probably the food is going to be a big topic here right because that is connection to the physical body as well at the same time this is telling you also to look at or you might have got an increased desire for independence or self-reliance as well, or it's time to take action about that too. All right, so guys, this is my um, overview briefly on Hygieia in the sign of Aries. I hope it helps and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.